Hello guys, Galaxy S3 Modder here, and I am back with a very, very special ROM. You guys, hopefully, are going to be as excited as I was when I first saw this on the internet. Now, to be honest with you, I found this off of another video, decided to test it out, and it worked. I forgot who it was from, though. So I would give shout out, but I forgot who it was. But look at this, just CyanogenMod tapped it first. There's no data there. All right, let me just make sure that you guys can see it well. There you go. There's a regular jelly bean, the camera app and all, you know. Camera can't connect to the camera. That's cool. All right, this is just my home screen. I'm just flipping through the the pages. There's nothing that personalized here because as soon as I got this ROM I had to show you guys okay so look we got just basic it's a CyanogenMod ROM you know got the brightness slider here change the brightness I'm gonna put it lower for this video you know nothing really new here except a few awesome features first we're gonna go into our settings about phone That is correct, guys. Android 4.3 for our Galaxy S3s. All Galaxy S3s. No one's left out. Every Galaxy S3. This is huge. Because of a few things, really, we get this before a lot of people get this. We are like some of the first people to get 4.3. And yes, I know that there are many other phones that have 4.3 already, or a 4.3 ROM, but if you think about how many phones are out there that are running Jelly Bean right now and don't have 4.3 support, we're one of the first people to get it. All right, obviously it's CyanogenMod. As you can tell right here, oh, there you go. It is CyanogenMod 10.2, and I told you guys in my HTC Sense 5 ROM, as soon as I get hand, my hands on CM 10.2, I'll do a video as soon as I can. That's exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so first what we're going to go into is, since there's not many things to go through here, I'm just going to basically show you what it comes with that makes it so good. Well, one, this isn't a 4.3 feature. This is CyanogenMod. This is called Focal. Now, Focal is a redesigned camera application. It says unable to connect to camera. Wow, that's that's cool. Okay. Why isn't it letting me connect to the camera? I literally took a picture a few seconds ago. Okay, that's not cool. I right, hold up. I'm going to I'm going to come back here when I have the camera working. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Just rebooted my phone real fast. So that hopefully it would work, and yay! Okay, good. It worked. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting there. What we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this forward some. If I can, hold on a second. Let me just put this down. Hmm. Can't really get it to stand well. I guess we're just gonna have to keep it there. Okay. First, we're gonna do a walkthrough. You scroll down. You see a picture. That's my cat. It's one of my cats. Alright, you have your recently taken pictures. I didn't take this picture in the time that I had this room, but that's in my gallery. Alright, so we're going to go over here. And as soon as you pull it out, you can see you have a ton of all, you have all your features here. So say you want to change the settings. And the settings pops down, you want to do an enhancements. Alright, this is, I think, that this is the auto enhance feature. You can just press it and it automatically enhances your photo. As you can see, you can move it around all over your screen if you want to. You can just leave it in the corner and say you press it whenever you need it. We're going to go to this setting. Contrast, you can move everything around here. See? Well, you can't move this around, I guess. But if you want to put on, see, all the things at once, it just stacks on top and it stays there until you want it to go. So say that we want this setting, it changes it right here. 
right? You have all these different camera settings. And the best thing, one of the best things, about, what did I just do? Okay. Let's go to normal. How do I go back to normal? Do. I can't tell. It turns normal auto, I guess. That's cool. Okay. Get it away. Okay. So, what I was going to show you though, one of the cool features is a timer. We finally get a timer in our app. Look at that, seven seconds. Picture, the timer goes off in the corner. You see that on the top right over here? That's the timer, and it should snap a photo once it goes off. And it's, it took the photo. If I can find the photo. Okay, that's just more pictures of my cats. That I didn't even take those pictures. My sister took my phone and took the pictures, which really upset me. Alright, so now we're just going to go into the next application. Here, focal stopped. It doesn't even matter because I closed out of it. Okay. I mean, there's obviously going to be a few bugs in this ROM. You can't not expect bugs, because if you do, you're just expecting a little too much of a brand new build. Okay. I mean, it does have Power Widget, though. It's basically the same thing as it used to be with 4.3 with a new number and focal, basically, which makes me insanely happy because they're, it's just very smooth now. If we open up a lot of apps here, we will be able to see how nice and smooth it runs. Let's keep on opening things. Phone. Right, we're just going to do this here. And just switch. Look at how nicely it switches between all the apps. I just did that one. Let's go to phone. I mean, it's just so buttery. Such a great ROM. Alright, guys. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to post this. Links to download in the description. You will be able to download this ROM right now. And I will also post links to my website, which I hope you check out, which is, once again, galaxyS3modder.webs.com. All right, thank you so much for watching. All the views are appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because every like and subscribe makes me want to do more videos like this, and it just shows your support, and it makes me very happy. All right, once again, I appreciate it, and Galaxy S3 Modder. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.